Hey, what's up everyone? Visual Intelligence here for another awesome graphics tutorial. So in a previous tutorial, uh, I showed you guys how to make uh, these kind of, this kind of effect on Cinema 4D. Just random cubes and then add a text and really basic stuff. So what I want to show you now is how to make it look a lot better using Photoshop. And this will be uh, the last uh, kind of uh, image that you will be getting. As you can see we have changed the color tone a bit we have added some lights, some particles and some flare in here and you know, I will be uh, linking you to all that in the description so if you guys have, don't have the particles images or the lens don't worry about it you, you just go ahead and download them they are in the description below and once you're done go back and go along with this tutorial. So let's kind of actually open up Photoshop and now that that uh, Photoshop is open let's go ahead and um, open our first image uh, in, uh, in Photoshop So first thing we want to do is to remove this. You don't. You actually don't have this, but uh, I kind of lost the other one. So, and I really want to stick with the same image. So yeah, and that didn't go well. So uh, let's can go ahead and do it with the patch tool. Yeah, this is kind of uh, the process you go through when you want to remove some parts. So yeah, that doesn't look perfect, but uh, don't worry, you're, go you're not gonna have this problem. So uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go ahead and do some adjustments. So the first thing you want to do is to add a curves adjustment layer. And when you want, what you want to do is you're gonna want to form kind of really, really thin a shape, and this uh, will uh, make the colors pop up more. And it will give it a lot of uh, contrast, with, which is which is always nice. So, uh, next step is to add some gradient. Just go ahead and click this icon, and then go and choose gradient. We want some really black to white gradient. Make sure the other side is transparent. If you click on the uh, the upper arrow here you can see the opacity and you can decrease it or increase it. We want it to be zero so make sure to have that and then click OK style change it to radial and then reverse and then we want some angle around 30, 40, it really doesn't matter and then the scale we want like uh, 130, 120 we just want to have this kind of vignette so let's make it overlay and this will make it uh, this will make our background look a lot colorful uh, if you uh, if you can see so let's go ahead and add another hue and saturation layer and what we want to do now is to really change the tone of the colors uh, we want them to be a little more Live, so yeah. Uh, if you can see, uh, you can see the difference here. I just changed the color. And by the way, you can change the color completely if you go mad with the, with the hue uh, value. So uh, make sure to give that a try. It's really a nice way to change the color of the text or your objects without having to kind of re-render in Cinema 4D and use another material. But uh, on the other hand, it really mess your uh, your background as you can see it looks weird at this point so uh, let's stick with this uh, minus 14 minus 20 minus 12 sorry uh, it really doesn't matter uh, let's actually try this on the top of everything yeah it really doesn't matter so uh, what we want to do more is to go ahead and add some particles so Go ahead and go to File, Place Embedded, and or Place Text. Let's go ahead and go with Place Embedded in case we lost our file. Let's 
go to our I have some pack from attention channel uh, so I'm gonna be using that uh, and the channel has gone so I can't link you to that but I definitely can link you to some images uh, to use instead of that so don't worry about it let's place this uh, in here let's go ahead and change the uh, color uh, blending mode to overlay and maybe overlays too intense so let's go ahead and do screen yeah let's uh, try adding it from the bottom and uh, let's go ahead and add some mask let's hit B for brush these to make the colors for uh, go back to default X to uh, switch between colors uh, by the way and uh, the left square bracket right square bracket I mean the closing one to increase the brush size we want it to be this big quite so let's brush where the text is not brush the edges we want the particles to be uh, on the edges so let's go ahead and add another layer of that by the way uh, make sure to uh, get used to the uh, keyboard shortcuts they're really handy you, you can just go ahead and keep clicking uh, like all over around it really is not the uh, best choice so make sure to uh, uh, to really get used to the keyboard shortcuts so I'm just placing this image let's make it screen by the way if you have an image that has a lot of uh, black into it make sure to have it on screen or maybe color dodge whatever pops up more let's actually try lighten well it really it really is not appearing anywhere let's try and place it somewhere else and uh, if you can if you place it in the middle you can see that we have some particles so that's nice that adds a lot of uh, effect into our image so control zero to zoom into our canvas let's try adding some flares so go ahead and file place uh, i don't see shortcut for, for that so yeah. uh, i see that uh, by the way the, these flares are from psd box i will link you to that also they are for free so no worries Don't worry about it. So, create a new layer above all that. And then, uh, what you want to do is you want to. Let's go ahead and direct selection to uh, just by holding, click on this arrow, and then and then go ahead and select this one and this will select mul multiple points uh, so we want to select this point hold shift and then uh, just click yes you know that just hold shift and then drag to the left select the other point drag to the right or you can draw this manually using the uh, pen tool really it's really uh, your choice so just go ahead and do what you're more comfortable with let's hit V for the move tool let's uh, place it somewhere in the middle oh, by the way uh, there's this new feature in Photoshop CC 2014 which are these smart guides uh, as you can see them they're really awesome I really like them but you can you can go ahead and work without them so don't worry about it let's 
double click it and then change the uh, color to white let's add some um, mask layer to it go back to our brush and it's still big as we left it we can go ahead and make it smaller using the uh, left square bracket key on your keyboard and uh, yeah this looks quite awesome you can go ahead and leave it like so I really like it but you can just decrease the fill a little bit or you can go ahead and change the blending mode to overlay and then decrease the fill a little bit and this will make it look a lot more realistic or whatever so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in normal I really like it this way but it's really your choice make sure to see to go ahead and do whatever you guys like so hit the F to see full screen control zero to zoom in and this is our, uh, our final image let's go ahead and group all every other layer except for the background layer which is our raw image from Cinema 4D Control G to group them and what we actually did so this is the first image and this is after the adjustment uh, in my opinion it really looks a lot better but it depends on you so if you want uh, just normal image like this you can go ahead and leave it like so but you now, you now know how to make it look a lot better uh, and this works best with the uh, images that have like a white background so make sure to have that in your image and uh, anyway uh, this is all for this tutorial thanks for watching make sure to leave a comment like and subscribe and uh, see you on the next tutorial thanks